Hey guys, this is Paris um, showing you an updated version of how I've been washing her face. I try to keep up with it about every other day. I was doing it every day in the past, but now it's about every other day. And every morning I start off with a baby washcloth that's dry and I use the rough side of that washcloth to swipe um, her eyes and wipe away any of the eye gunk that has built up there. I do that regardless if I'm washing her face that day or not. So here in the bathroom, you can see me starting off that way. And Paris is still not a fan of having her face washed, so you will get to see her growl at me. You'll get to see those beautiful teeth. So I'm starting off with her baby, um, baby bib to help protect her from that getting wet completely. And I'll link that below if I can find it. And I also like to uh, brush her teeth before I wash her face. So I just start off that way. And after her teeth are brushed, then I just start wetting her face. And normally she's sitting further back in the corner and I can just easily cup the water in my hand and put it to her face. Um, but I didn't want to cover the camera. Now, once her face is wet, I start off with a small amount of the Spa Lavish Blueberry Facial Scrub. I put that on my fingers and I go directly on the heaviest part of her tear stain and start working it in. And I rub that in for a long time. I just cut out. Yeah, I didn't want you to sit here and watch um, 10 minutes of me putting that on her. So I just work it in until it suds up. You can see her checking herself out in the mirror, making sure she still looks pretty vicious, which she does. She doesn't like any part of this. But letting the spa lavish sit on her, it does help. I don't rinse it off right away. So I'm gonna let her sit. As she's sitting on the, on the bathroom counter, I'm gonna go ahead and brush out my other dog. And I can see Paris from the other room, so it's not a big deal. And Paris knows to stay. So now that I'm back, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse Paris off. Again, she usually sits in that back corner and I can cup my hand and put the water to her face, but I'm just wetting my fingers and sliding off as much of the suds as possible to help rinse it off. There I am, I'm able to cup some of the water in my hands there. Okay, now I'm going to dry her off with a towel and then move her to my room so I can finish drying her off and then we can continue on with brushing her hair and drying off her tear stains. Saw that paw action there. She, was, she doesn't like the towel to her face at all. I also have a Kleenex that I like to squeeze over her tear stains to help dry it up as much as possible because sometimes the towel still leaves her face a little damp. So this Kleenex helps to get uh, more of the excess water that's in her coat. And now I'm just going to brush out her top knot and get her hair ready for the day. Make sure there's no knots or any of her eye gunk um, in the top knot section of her hair. I'm just going to gather it in a little pony and then I'll, I'll add a bow that's on a band. It's kind of my quick way of getting her ready when I don't have time to do a proper top knot. Okay. Now I'm going to take her face comb and use the wide side of the comb and comb out her mustache. Just make sure there's no knots after drying her. I'm going to do that on both sides. Now I have some um, cornstarch here that I like to add heavily onto her tear stains. Very, very carefully, I look for her stains where it's the heaviest and start rubbing it in. And I do this for quite a while. I keep building up onto it, working it in. 
and I do this on both sides. So you just make sure there's no other hair in the way and just aim directly for the heaviest part of the tear stain and really rub it in. And I just keep adding layers and layers on top of it. You can see Paris there doesn't care for it very much, but you know, I just keep pushing through and, and adding as much as I need to get her to look a little nice. You can see her face looks a little bit drier here less noticeable of the tear stains and I'm gonna comb out any of the excess powder that was on her face or starch cornstarch just brushing it through to make sure it's nice and evenly spread and then I follow up with the washcloth to wipe away any of her eye liquid or if there's any of um, powder that's clumped up close to the corner of her eye I wipe that away and still brushing it through <laughs> okay here's our little trick so i'm going to take the heaviest part of her tear stain that's most visible and i'm going to pull it downward and really tuck it down and then i'm going to fluff the front part of her mustache or her cheek to cover up that tear stain. So as her face air dries the remainder of the time, that tear stain is pushed downward and it's way less noticeable. And that front part is drying um, quicker and fluffier, has more volume in her coat, so you can't really see her tear stain. So you'll see in a moment when I, yeah, straight on, you can see it looks a lot better this is how I get away with her looking like she has a completely white face. A lot of people want to know, how do I keep her face so white? Well, she has tear stains, but this is just how I get away with it. So, and there's her sister joining her and a little treat for doing such a good job. <laughs> 